The Melgus 32 is one of the hottest classes afloat, and this year's World Championship in San Francisco, California delivered plenty of action for the 32-boat fleet. Run by the St. Francis Yacht Club, this event hosted a who's who of sailing, as some of the sport's top sailors and owners have come together for full throttle action on these high-performance machines. In the first day's breezy conditions, Andy Lovell, sailing with his brother Johnny, launched to an early lead on Rogaroo. Lovell won the Melgus 32 National Championship last year, sailed in this same venue as part of the Rolex Big Boat Series. It was our crew work. It, it was very windy, and so it was very hard to keep the boat upright and going fast, and our spinnaker trimmers and the bowmen did an unbelievable job. They got the sail up, we took off, and they got it down again, and we jived. And that was uh, a lot of why we were winning the regatta. In the first race, the team finished second to Stefan Goldwater's tirade, while John Porter's full throttle finished an impressive third after coming back from an OCS. Race two introduced more breeze and bigger waves, which is typical for San Francisco. America's Cup star and BMW Oracle's Russell Coots called the shots aboard Doug Douglas's Goombe Smash. Living up to his reputation, Coots put his team in position to win race two while Rod Jabin's Annapolis-based Ramrod played the right side of the race course to take second. The day's final race was a five-leg marathon as the breeze continued to build. Italy's Luca Lally on B Lynn Sailing, fresh off a win at this year's Rolex Big Boat Series, battled the entire race for a win. Over reigning world champion Peter Tesler on Blixem, with Lovell in third. These kind of conditions are what these boats are made for, and crews have to be on top of their game while the boats take them for a ride. Day two delivered three more winners in perfect San Francisco sailing conditions. Rogaru's early grasp on the overall regatta lead was loosened as Luca Lally's b sailing made a push for the pole position. Doug Douglas's Goombe Smash proved again that they have what it takes to win. And race four belonged to them. Former national champion Jeff Eklund's star made the left side pay off for a wire-to-wire -wire win in race five. John Porter's full throttle made a stab at the top, but Blixem and Steve Pugh's taboo ended up second and third. The Melgus 32 was designed in hopes of creating a bigger, better, more simplified high-performance boat for the sailing world. With up to 2,000 square feet of sail, about 3,500 pounds of boat, and five plus crew members, it's a speed machine. Race six was dominated by Steve Howe's Warpath. Lally was back up with the front runners in second. And Kip Meadows, North Carolina-based Rock Sand Sailing Team with tactician Andy Horton wound up third. With 32 boats with stacked crews together on the course, all the boats get to the marks at the same time. Whoever can get ahead of the pack has it easiest while the boats behind battle together. Day three started with a postponement, so the sailors had to find a way to keep entertained on the docks. We're yep. planning a little fun this morning before we leave the dock. And yep. we're going to be uh, tossing Alex Jackson into the water. That's the plan. I'm Alex Jackson, owner of Lena Barca. It it's the first day. time we've ever done well on the first day. You're beating the two of them. What, what advice do you give to them for your winning strategy? <laughs> <laughs> what advice? <laughs> Good, intelligent sailing. We just didn't really do anything too stupid. <laughs> 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 Finally, the postponement flag is dropped, but it was still light, which brought a challenge to the crews. Well, we like to see some breeze first, and then that'll kind of determine uh, how we're going to set the boat up. We're going to avoid the mistakes we made yesterday. We didn't get off the line very well yesterday. We we're kind of always on the back foot. Hopefully we'll find our jets again and go fast. Everybody's confident, so uh, feeling good about it. Light air is a specialty in Annapolis, Maryland. 
So it was no surprise to see Rod Jabin's ramrod round the windward mark first, with Chris Larson calling the shots. But they settled for third in the competitive fleet, with Stuart Simpson's team Barbarians in second. Jeff Eklund's star with Harry Melgus calling the shots again rose to the top to take the sixth race. The final day brought more light air. But race chairman John Craig of the St. Francis Yacht Club was intent on getting the schedule two races in, despite the challenges. The stage was set for a three-way battle between Andy Lovell, John Porter, and Luca Lally for the championship. After race seven, Porter had finished fourth, well enough to take the overall lead by one point with the final race to go. But he was over early on the last starting line with a Z-flag penalty. While Alex Jackson's Lena Barker landed a wire-to-wire -wire win in the race, and Steve Howe's Warpath took second, with Luca Lally's B. Lynn Sailing taking third in the overall World Championship. You're watching T2P TV.